Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I wanted to visit with you from my office today because I have uh, just some very practical things that I want to go over with you regarding uh, the upcoming Holy Week uh, celebrations. As you know, uh, this Sunday is Palm Sunday, and uh, it's very unfortunate and very sad and painful for me, as I'm sure it is for all of you, uh, that we cannot come together to worship and celebrate uh, these wonderful upcoming feasts that we have uh, during uh, this, this very holy week, this very holy time of the year, and most especially the Easter celebrations a week from now. But I want to make you aware of a way in which you can participate uh, without actually coming to, to Mass. <clears throat> And, of course, by now you know of, of uh, the very um, uh, many opportunities to watch Sunday Mass on TV. Uh, and you may have uh, other parishes where, where they have the ability to live stream. <clears throat> we unfortunately don't have that ability here. That, that uh, takes some uh, equipment and some, uh, some uh, technology with software and so forth. But nevertheless... Um, I will be celebrating uh, Holy Week Masses here <clears throat> privately, and uh, while that may seem strange from uh, your perspective, it will certainly be from, from mine too. Nevertheless, my, my um, Masses will be said uh, here, and, and I will certainly keep all of you in prayer. Most of you will have to be watching these Masses from your home. Uh, and these celebrations from your home. So the diocese has uh, made it possible for all to live stream. Now I know that that means that uh, only those who have computers with internet uh, can, can live stream, uh, but that fortunately should be most of us. There are some who, who don't have the ability to live stream because they simply don't have a computer. And I'll, I'll get uh, to a way in which they can uh, participating in these celebrations from home as well. First of all, the Diocese of Winona has made it possible for uh, uh, the people in the Diocese of, of Winona to live stream uh, these these masses. I'll just get a little closer here with this with this schedule. So the ability to to live stream these these masses. So as you can see, um, website live stream Palm Sunday Mass, that's this Sunday already, at 10.30 a.m. And website live stream Holy Thursday Mass, that's on Thursday, obviously, at 7 p.m. And website live stream, <clears throat> website live stream Good Friday Service, because Good Friday isn't a Mass, right? It's a service. Uh, that will be at noon, 12 noon on Friday, website live stream Holy Saturday Easter Vigil, that's next Saturday, at 8 p.m., and website live stream Easter Sunday Mass next Sunday at 10.30 a.m. So these will be celebrated by Bishop Quinn, uh, and um, uh, they will be uh, celebrated from the cathedral for the Diocese of Winona. So um, that way we can be one with our shepherd and uh, um, be one with him. He will be live streaming the Chrism Mass as well. I didn't list this on here, but the Chrism Mass is Monday. The Chrism Mass will be, will be Monday. And uh, I believe the Chrism Mass starts at 6 p.m. on Monday. And uh, you can live stream that as well if you want. I will be live streaming it uh, from, from where I am. Uh, Bishop Quinn has asked that that uh, the priests in the diocese uh, this year do not attend uh, the Chrism Mass. Nevertheless, he will bless the oils uh, that will be used for baptisms and confirmations and anointing of the sick uh, on Monday at a private Chrism Mass that he will celebrate and be made available to us uh, so that we can participate in a spiritual way um, uh, by live streaming. And so it is with the rest of these Masses that you see listed here. I will not be video recording uh, the Triduum Masses, the Triduum Celebration, I should say. I will not be video recording uh, the, the um, Holy Thursday Mass. I will not be video recording the Good Friday Service. I will not be video recording uh, the Easter Vigil. 
And I've been asked to not do that because um, we want people to participate in these masses at the times in which it's appropriate to participate in them. So as you know, as I, as I pointed out earlier um, uh, in, another, in another video to you, these uh, celebrations are non-transferable. So we need to celebrate Holy Thursday, the Thursday before Easter, right? And we can't move Easter to the month of July, right? So, so um, as you know, it also takes uh, some time and some uh, processing to get these videos uploaded. So if I were to uh, video record my Holy Thursday Mass, I would either have to move it to an earlier hour so that it's it's posted in a time where you can watch it so that's in the evening um, or post it, celebrate it when I'm scheduled to celebrate it and post it and then, and then you watch it at a later time. That defeats the purpose because I'm supposed to celebrate that Mass at a particular time on a particular day and uh, we call that the Mass of the Lord's Supper. So it's appropriate, most appropriate that we celebrate that Mass in the evening on the Thursday before Easter. So that should explain well enough uh, why uh, we can't video record these masses and then have people partake in them on another day. And that's also why we would encourage you to, uh, to watch these uh, live stream. And so here's the website. I hope you had time maybe to look at that website. You can always bring the video back up again and write this website down. <clears throat> you should write this down. I will include the link. So those of you who will be getting a link to this uh, video, some of you will be getting this video because you're you're subscribed to my channel. Um, many others will get the the email uh, or the text message that we send out, and that will include this link down below as well. Nevertheless, you should write this link down, uh, lest you need to, um, in case you need to, rather type this video or type this address in <clears throat> so that you can watch these live stream um, masses and celebrations. So the website is www.dowr.org forward slash about a-b-o-u-t forward slash weekly w-e-e-k-l-y dash mass m-a-s-s Dot html so write that um, website down and that web address down and type that into your search box <clears throat> and uh, that will direct you to where these masses are celebrated now you have to uh, you have to uh, log in if you will you have to be on the website when the mass is happening okay so so you can't, for example, watch the 10.30 a.m. Palm Sunday Mass um, at noon, right? Because it won't be there. It'll be done. You'll get a blank screen. So you have to uh, bring the website up at, say, 10.20 and spend some time in prayer like you normally would. Um, pray your rosary. Um, and uh, then the Mass will begin at 10.30 a.m. The same with Easter Sunday and, and, and the rest of these celebrations. So. You need to log in and uh, uh, get into that uh, website on that live stream at these times or you'll miss the celebrations. I also know that many of you have uh, become very familiar with and, and like EWTN, the Catholic uh, um, uh, television network. And I, I know that uh, those of you who, who like EWTN probably already have uh, a sense of their uh, Easter celebration and, and Holy Week celebration schedule. If you wish, you, you may certainly watch uh, on EWTN uh, their celebrations. You don't necessarily have to watch our diocesan celebrations. Um, you, you, can, you can watch um, EWTN uh, Triduum celebrations, again, at the time that they're having them. Uh, you can watch uh, the, the Easter Triduum celebrations who live stream from another diocese or even from another parish. 
uh, you may have already uh, a plan uh, to do that. <clears throat> I'm just offering some avenues for you if you haven't already thought of how you might participate in these Holy Week and Easter celebrations from your home. And so um, I know many of you are familiar with EWTN, uh, the Catholic uh, television network. Um, and so um, you already have probably an idea of their Easter schedule and their Holy Week schedule. Some may not. So if you have cable TV and don't have a computer, um, maybe you want to look for that channel. Maybe you want to call your cable provider and see if he can see if they can provide you uh, with that channel if you don't have it, but you have cable TV. If you're like me and you don't have cable TV, you rely on an antenna, um, maybe you can do a rescan and you might get lucky enough to get EWTN uh, even through uh, your antenna channels. I know some people do. They're fortunate enough to, to have that. So um, there are several opportunities uh, to participate in these uh, celebrations um, and, and we encourage you to do so. We encourage you to do so from your homes. And I hope that this was helpful. I encourage you again uh, to, to um, log on to the diocesan live stream and, um, or you may have a, a, another live stream for another uh, Catholic church or another diocese. You're welcome to do that too. Or EWTN, very good Catholic uh, network uh, that, that uh, I know televises these uh, services and masses as well. I'll have a few more uh, videos uh, in the upcoming days uh, to help us prepare and to focus in a more special way uh, during these celebrations for Holy Week. God bless you all and have a very blessed and happy Palm Sunday. As I said before, I'll be celebrating these liturgies here uh, by myself privately and certainly I'll uphold all of you in my prayers. <clears throat> I will bless the palms at Mass tomorrow morning, and I will put those blessed palms in our churches. And so you can come uh, probably beginning around uh, noon and thereafter on Sunday. Our churches are open. Come and pick up uh, a blessed palm uh, for your house. And those palms will remain there throughout, uh, throughout the week. Uh, so, um, so come Sunday afternoon if you can, pick up as many blessed palms as you want. Um, leave enough for others. I know that uh, some um, want to take more than one, and that's certainly fine, but make sure uh, we don't take them all so that others have plenty. Uh, so also, um, uh, you know, don't all come at the same time, right? Because that defeats the purpose of social distancing. Um, I'll leave the churches unlocked until um, about 8, 8 p.m. on Sunday, and um, they will be open again on Monday morning and will be open until uh, uh, the afternoon or the, the early evening hours on, on Monday. The same uh, goes for Tuesday. So you have a, a few days to come and pick up palms uh, all the way uh, into Thursday afternoon. Uh, by Thursday evening, you should have all uh, had your palms, and by then I'll be collecting them, and uh, they'll no longer be available. God bless you, and until next time, uh, remember to pray uh, daily Psalm 91 and uh, Psalm 46.